Hi, I'm here with Gareth Snell, who's the leader of Newcastle Borough Council. Gareth, what an exciting day for Newcastle Borough Council to have Ian Woosnam involved in the company yeah. taking over for the golf course. It is fabulous news. We, we couldn't have hoped for a better group of people to come forward and, and so they can do something to make this course a, a, a nationally renowned course to play on. So we are thrilled. And again, that academy side of things where youngsters are getting involved. I mean, you can see in the, in the background putting with the, with the youngster. Um, must be so, such a great thing for Newcastle World for the council to be involved with. It is. I mean, when when the court when the course came back to us, we were clear we wanted to do something different with it. We we could have gone down the whole municipal play and pay type route, but we didn't really want to do that. We knew there was a potential for the school to do something better. So when the idea came forward of an academy so that younger people can really get to understand the sport, potentially be the pro golfers of tomorrow, that for us was the icing on an already pretty impressive cake. And you've got complementary, you know, colleges, universities. Absolutely. You know, all them sort of businesses aligned to, to this sort of making this happen and making a success of it. Absolutely, and you know, Ian heading the consortium is in itself fantastic. But you look at the calibre of the people that have sat behind in Keele University, Newcastle College, JCB. It, these are people who in themselves command great respect for the local area. And the fact that they've come together and realised the value of this site is something that we simply could not have dreamed of when we sat down and thought, heck, what can we do with it now? And the golf brand itself, I mean, they've, been, they've got a track record, of, a proven track record of getting other courses up and running. Absolutely, and again, I'm not a golfer myself, but the, the research I've done shows that if we follow the trajectory that the, this company has done in other places, then we could be on course for one-off, if not the best course uh, in the Midlands in the UK. Okay, thank you very much for your time today, Gavin. You're welcome. Cheers. Cheers.